right, I'm going to show you how you can use um, the arts now to work a little bit on some a little hip opener exercise. Um, this can be done with either the wider arc or the posture flex. And um, once again, if we use the posture flex, it'll be a little bit more challenging because we have an arrow raise of support. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate with that one just, uh, just so that you can see it there. So what we're going to do is we're going to lie down um, on your back and place the arc right at, the, um, right at your lower buttocks. And you're going to just place your, the top of your foot um, on the arc. So if you, need this, if you don't have enough range of motion in your knee here, you can scoot it out a touch. But um, that's, that's where we're, we're going to shoot for for now. And what we're going to think about when we're lying here is staying long through the trunk and we're going to reach that top leg up towards the ceiling as we rotate the body in that direction. I'm going to try to keep my, um, my shoulder down here so we're getting more of a lower body rotation and a little hip opener. And then we drop right back down. Inhaling, exhale, reach the knee up long. Inhale, and exhale back down. One more time. Inhale and exhale, reaching, reaching your sit bone down as long as you can, reaching your knee up towards the ceiling and actually having some energy to that right leg and reaching that out as well. And back down. And you can do that to the other side. Shoot through here. So we're keeping, we're trying to keep that right shoulder down, taking a breath in, exhale, reaching up long and trying to expand that space there and coming back down. And we're just going to move in and out of that motion. Once again, you can incorporate the breathing. I'm just going to just go through the motion here so you can see it. All right. And that's just a nice way just to get a little bit of movement through the hips. Um, if you are a little bit more advanced and you want a little uh, more of a challenge, um, sometimes what you can do is you can actually place your, your foot back there and actually, I'm going to have both knees bent for a moment. And you can come up to a bridge position where your, um, your hips are up. And then what I would do is just take your right hip and just allow it to fall. So it's really you're supporting yourself on that right side. And where it's almost like you're just dangling your right leg down. And once again, we're just going in here. We're, we're engaging in the back, but we're allowing things in the front to relax and then come back down. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll come up into that bridge and then just allow everything to drop, but keep that right side up, keep the energy up towards the ceiling on the right, and just allow the left side just to dangle there. Once again, keeping this control into this side. And that type of movement there will serve you well when um, if you're doing rotational sports to be able to stabilize while actually having some rotation in your pelvis. Okay? So those are a couple of exercises you can do for your hips with the Sarah's.